So the uh, rock is not the cat or the rock or the rock. So you go up to that, up to side. So if that uh, happens, the uh, beam will fall. Somehow, beam, beam, okay? So hold the beam. What happened? We still have the same cross-section. The same cross-section. The same amount of reinforcement. How about the strain? And stress. This is now what will happen. Uh, authors like uh, MacGregor and Mac, uh, McCormack have different, different directions. So it is not, uh, it is not wrong. The only, the only thing that we have to Think about is that this direction is opposite to that direction. This is opposite to that direction. Even if, even if we change the direction of this, we have to change the direction now. So the direction here is what? Oh, the opposite. Oh, this is going there. Opposite. Okay. So if we, if we change, we change the direction. Go in there. So we change the direction. Okay, just make it opposite. So I am using what? Right. Different direction. So I just follow the direction of the book. So this is how the code states its direction. However, oh, it is not wrong. It's not wrong because the only thing that we have to consider is this direction is different from that. How do you know if this is positive or negative? You don't actually know. There is no positive or negative inside the concrete. You cannot see plus or minus sign there. You just what? Graphically show it that this one is opposite to this one. By what? By defining first that compressive is going to the left and tension is going to the right. That is not by definition. Okay? So why? Because the code looks like this, huh? In your uh, toss, in your toss subject, this is like this. Okay? Meaning, it is concentrated load, concentrated force, uh, represented by steel. This is not. This is what type of load is this? In our uh, jury structure. That is not uniform load. So, similarly, similarly, it should look like this. It is understood, it is understood because we already have mastered the Turing structure. We already understood. We have arrows, we have arrows like this, which, which will be opposite here because we have compressive side, tension side. We have what? We have relaxing. Okay. In here, Rock elastic stays here, but this one will have what? From this point, yeah. from this point to this point to the maximum. We can we can show you the maximum about here maximum 
the highest, the highest portion is the maximum. The highest portion is maximum. But around here, around here, is about about straight line. It's not it is not perfectly straight, but some some curve. However, this one is not straight. No. Curvature, no? Curvature. From this point to this point. So this is our maximum. Rapture. So this is our one. What is called this one? Ultimate. Ultimate meaning maximum. The maximum point here. The last one. Extend because extend here. What is called? That is called maximum. So that is now our ultimate strength. Okay? So what is this point? Almost, almost a straight line. It is not perfect, completely straight, but almost perfect. So this is the point. This is the point where we, we can say, stay yield or the yield point. Yeah. In your call, I always draw this diagram. P, point P, point E, point Y, point Q, and point R. Diba? So, proportion, elasticity, E is uh, I, uh, Y is yield, then ultimate, then rupture. So, there are at least five points. So, from this point to this point, yield, still yield. Okay. Then going to failure. Huh? So in our case, we are what? We are interested in this area. We are interested in this area because what? It is very much higher than this one. This is the stage one. From this point to this point. From this point to this point, stage one. Stage 2, from this point to this point, we want to use the middle, the middle of this one. If, if we can, if we can estimate, if we can estimate, this is a very good data for estimating. If you have ultimate strength of this much, of this, uh, you can use uh, ruler. You can use ruler. Okay. About this much. 13. So the average or the middle of 13 is 6.5. 6.5 here. So, so therefore this important section is about one half of this. It is shown in the diagram. It is shown in actual, that is actual laboratory result. So, we can estimate. Okay, and if this is uh, the middle, another about, about the middle of that, about, if we divide into two, all this one, very near, very near the, the what, the uh, boundary, very near the boundary between these two, so about this one. So, this one, we can what, we can also estimate to be one fourth of the maximum, and this one to be one half of the maximum. So, we can estimate. Now, what about this important portion? Now, we can estimate it to be what? to be one half to two thirds okay two thirds so let us uh, compute two thirds what is two thirds so i measure 13 centimeter what is two thirds of 13 centimeter two thirds of 13 centimeters is about nine centimeter so let us so 9, huh? 9 centimeter. So this one, from this point to this point. So I will uh, 
exactly there. So even in what estimate, we can make an estimate that the very good portion to target by the design engineer, by the structural engineer, is from one half to two thirds. That is the useful uh, portion of the characteristic of the element. So we can always do that. This is just a concept. Let us now go to the actual computation.